Hi, I'm Jeff Cuckley with RackAid, where we manage servers so you don't have to. Today I've got two quick tips for you. First one we're going to talk about is SPF. Now, SPF is basically designed so that when you receive an email that says it's from your bank, to give you some type of assurance that it actually is really from your bank. If you check this on, what will happen is that Plask will then start checking SPF records. And then if it checks the SPF record, in the checking mode tells what you're going to do with it. So if you pick this option here, it's just going to check them. It's never going to block them. Your email client might do something with the information that's put into the email headers. Or you can say, set it to the fail, and then if the SPF record fails, then it will check the message out right. So what does the SPF record failure mean? Well, when a sender sends you an email and they attach an SPF ID to it, your server again can check if the ID exists in DNS. And since the sender controls both their email and DNS, if it matches, it passes and then your server accepts it. If some sender is spoofing an email, they can't control DNS. And as a result, the ID that comes through there will not authenticate, and then it will fail, and then you can block that message. So it's kind of a little bit of a security issue to authenticate email. I wouldn't 100% rely on it, but it can help cut down spam and phishing type of emails in your system if you set it to fail deny, or you can leave it to block just the text. The other thing I want to talk about is gray listing. So if you go down your spam assassin settings, spam filter settings, you'll see here switch on server-wide gray listing. Gray listing can cause some problems, but it also can block a lot of spam. And here's how it works. So when a sender sends you an email on the first attempt, your server is going to say, hey, man, I don't know who you are. Try again later. This sender then will try to send the email to the second time. Well, your server then says, hey, I know who you are. I've seen you before. I'll let the email come through. Well, here's the problem. Is that say you're doing a password reset on some form. You forgot your password. Well, that site tries to send you an email. Your server says, I don't know who you are. And then the email is stuck over here waiting. You don't control how long it will wait. It could wait for five minutes. It could wait for 60 minutes. It could wait for hours. And in fact, it might never send it again. And that's actually how this prevents spam. Most spamming systems will actually not try that second attempt, so you can block a lot of spam. But if you enable this in your panel, you could actually block some legitimate email or delay getting those type of notifications. So it's really up to you if you want to enable that or not. Hope you find those helpful. Two little quick tips to improve Spam Assassin on Plus. Check out our other videos and our website at www.racket.com.